Coalition of Northern Elders for Peace and National Unity has condemned the comments the chairman of dialogue group Madi she made that Northern Christians should not vote for the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter will be in the 2023 elections. In a viral video which has been trending on social media, Madi she was seen addressing a congregation believed to be a garden of some Christians in the north. He told them that a northern Christian has no business voting for a candidate from the south based on Christianity because at the end of the day, the person will be working for the interest of his tribe if he gets into office. He said that if they vote Peter Obi because he's a Christian, Peter Obi's interest will be the Igbo people, will, the, will be the Igbo people if he wins the election. His comments have been attracting condemnation on social media with many wondering why he should try to bring in the religious and ethnic cast in political discussions. In its reaction, the group said that Madi Shewu's comments are capable of pitching Christians against Muslims and called on the security agencies to pick him up for questioning to serve as a deterrent to other people. In a statement which was signed by the national coordinator of the group, Professor Abubakar Abdukada Muhammad Gumi, and the group's national secretary, Ajia Hadiza Guazu, the group called on Northerners to ignore Madi's comments and vote for the candidate of their choice without tribal or religious sentiment. In the report which was made by Daily Post, the group said, before that enjoined our people to disregard the provocative comments made by Madi, even as we urge them to vote for presidential candidates of their choice, devoid of ethnic, religious, or political consideration. Mm. Well, this Madi has been going around for some time now. I'm not surprised because initially when I first saw this man, he was talking about a OBJ, OBJ, OBJ behind Peter Obi trying to force a OB on Northerners and some key Northern politicians or Northern leaders. He was talking about how OBJ did this, how OBJ did that, and you could see hatred in him. Well, uh, the group who has come out to condemn what he said, they have done the needful, but it is not left for the electorate. Unfortunately, majority of the people from that region um they always would they have a pattern of voting which uh, the man is using the ethnic and the religious uh, pattern that is what they've been used to and if at this junction somebody will be telling them this and that and for my for my own point of view i've, I've always said it and i'll continue to say it people need to vote according to what they have experienced in the past nobody is a baby but if people tend to go the way they want to go, I think they will have themselves to blame for that. This uh, ethnic and religious uh, sentiment uh, has been the been on the burner, and people they have been telling people not to go in that direction. But if people at their age who are able to vote, who have the voting age, and they don't know what to do, they need somebody to tell them what it is and what is not. Yeah, good luck to them. Good luck to them. Well, a lot of people have been reacting to that and they are not really happy with the statement. And some people are not even surprised this kind of thing coming from that uh, from the man or from that region. Well, northern people are not fools. They will use their brains, okay, because Buhari is a northerner, but he didn't stop bandits. Yes, he didn't stop bandits from killing the not so everyone should vote wisely truly i advise the northerners to vote for only tinumbu if you mistakenly vote peter Obi, you will be in trouble you will regret because i could remember when he was the governor of anambra state he treated northerners like slaves can you imagine where this one is coming from but when tinumbu was the governor of Lagos state he was giving more respect to the northerners than even the yorubas okay whenever i comment or heading any post i am always good to go thinking all through because he did not quit me a full animal or muslim so these are ways 
and method a powerful individual like me should have been reasoning so i should have learned interest from my parents siblings family kinsmen and community and religion i should have been a muslim to his like and killing others that are not muslims and those muslims that are not of full any instructions or stocks no matter how good they are to me if god is a man and his ways of man humans should have held him accountable accountability for creating full and is, i don't understand what this person is trying to see where like muhammad and bubu will not see this as his speech okay i don't even think uh, that uh, that man is a nigerian if he is he wouldn't have said such things that could cause troubles well <laughs> many of them have said many things more than that now as gumi not said more than that you know when he's trying to defend the bandits you lie you know very well is a full animal the have been making such comments and violence has become the norm through their underground work and you know try to be straightforward and read to yourself security agencies should have picked him up for questioning questioning and jail him it is a division among ethnic and religious he wanted to cause a very big trouble in nigeria he is afraid that his business of kidnapping and banditry will come to an end with Ubidati godly governments. If he can be telling the Christians, as the Christians not even, they don't, don't they know what they have been experiencing? <laughs> okay. mm. Let us divide this country. They say lie, lie. When some people are saying that they want to make some people slaves, they say, oh, it's a lie. So what does this mean? If you know that you don't trust people, you don't trust some you know, tribe, and they are saying they want to leave, then why are you always against it if not that you have a an ulterior motive or an ag another agenda i wonder why some of these aboki their brain is at the wrong position how can you tell christians not to vote for your fellow christian but to cast their vote for your aboki muslim brothers who have failed the country for over seven years this is not the first time this uh, is happening nothing but a boko haram in these guys man has made this type of statement we are watching let him continue the type that set the country on fire with this is reasoning and sensational utterances dss or police they will not do nothing <laughs> he has not even done up to what a uh, gumi has been preaching so what are we talking about <laughs> who's, going to, who's going to harass anybody they will not but if it were to be the other way around, and you begin to hear many, many things uh, left, right, and center. So, guys, let's hear your opinion. We are not even part of it. We are not even surprised with this uh, kind of statement. Leave your comments and let us know what you yourself think about this.